आई नो वॉट यूर थिंकिंग डू आई नीड अ सॉलिड कैमरा टू स्टार्ट माई यूट्यूब चैनल और इज माई फोन गुड इनफ टू स्टार्ट एंड लाइफ फिगर आउट द काइंड ऑफ कैमरा आई वॉन्ट दीज आर एग्जैक्टली द टू क्वेश्चन आई नीड यू टू बी आस्किंग सेल्फ इवन बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो This is Usha. Welcome back to my channel. So I get a lot of requests to share the gear, the YouTube gear that I started uh, with and the gear that I use now. So like you can guess, this video is just about that. But before starting, I have one line of advice for anybody who is just starting out, and that is to start making videos with whichever equipment you have, even if that's your smartphone. Smartphones today come with a lot of features, and since I've been on YouTube since quite some time. I know that the production quality matters a lot so I wouldn't recommend you to continue with your smartphone but the reason I'm asking you to start with it is because uh, that will ensure that you really understand the what goes into a video the basic video elements and only when you understand that will you be able to figure out what kind of camera do you need now beginning with the camera equipment So I started my channel in January 2019 and until July 2019 I was just using my smartphone which is a OnePlus 5T to record all my videos but uh, once you are sure about doing YouTube full time of course the production quality matters and a lot and so finally in July when I knew that I wanted to quit my job and do this full time I decided to invest in a camera I had a budget of around rupees sixty thousand to invest just in camera, so I had two options. The first was to invest in a DSLR, a nice fancy mirrorless DSLR, and the second was to invest in two cameras: one basic vlogging point and shoot camera, and two a GoPro. So I uh, went ahead with the second option because since I was making travel videos, so I wanted a lot of variety in my shots, and I also wanted the cameras to be super compact because um, while traveling, you really need to be able to handle your equipment well. So moving to the first camera that I invested in is the Canon G7X Mark II, and I absolutely love the performance of the camera, the low light capability, the great autofocus, uh, the flip out screen. and uh, the fact that it's so compact and easy to handle um although there is a drawback with the camera and that is it does not have an audio jack so you cannot insert an external mic into the camera but the good part is that the internal mic is good enough and so that never really was a problem until now when the weather is getting super windy and the second And the second camera that I invested in a few months later is the GoPro Hero 7 Black and I use this mostly for action shots, underwater shots, hyperlapses, um footage that I want to be uh, super stable and wide angle shots. So yes, this is a pretty versatile camera and I love it. uh for how compact it is you can literally look at how tiny it is you can carry it very very easily so if you're someone who uh, mainly makes sit down videos or videos at one particular location then and have a similar budget you might want to invest in a um, DSLR or you know in a uh, mirrorless camera where they have more features like having those bokeh shots because you don't have because then you don't have that worry of uh, carrying the camera around because you can easily mount it at one place so let's now move on to the supporting gear that i use all right the first one is the man photo uh, pixie mini tripod this is the main tripod that i use uh, that i also mount my canon g7x mark 2 on Uh, so when I was looking for tripods, I really wanted a sturdy one because I did not want to damage my camera or my phone. So you can easily put this tripod anywhere. And uh, the good thing is that it has this ball that you can kind of press and move, and so you can get a uh, get shots from different angles. Uh, so this one's great, and you can even mount your phone. So I another thing that I invested in was a phone mount because there are few shots which actually come out turn out to be better in your phone. Like I noticed while traveling, uh, time lapses come out better for some reason in my phone. And so you can mount this phone. Um, you can 
attach this phone mount on this tripod and your phone over here uh another tripod that i use a lot is this tripod it's one of the amazon basic tripod the link to everything that i'm mentioning right now i will put in the description box below and in fact i would insist if you're planning to buy any of this i would insist you uh, to buy using one of those links because by that i will get a little bit of incentive at no extra cost to you so yeah you can easily put it in your bag and i love it for the length that it can go up to and so this i use mainly for recording my time lapse and for a lot of different shots where i have to uh, where i need better length in the shot the next one that i use is a gorilla pod now the great part about this is that the legs are pretty flexible so even if you mount if you want to mount it on a surface like a pipe or a railing where you can we where you cannot keep your regular tripod this tripod comes in handy but one thing that you should ensure while buying one such tripod is that it should be of great quality because you will be mounting it at surfaces where it's a little risky to put your cameras and your phones so you don't want that it breaks off in the middle again this is another basic shorty uh, tripod for my gopro basically again you can put it anywhere and this goes on till this length and it basically came with my gopro with a lot of other accessories as well so you can put your gopro and record and some of the other accessories were like this mount so you can remove this and you can paste it anywhere basically like for example when you're cycling you can paste it on your helmet and record the shots moving on to the audio equipment now no matter how good your video quality is uh, if the audio quality is not good people will drop off in between and the video will not work for you and this is something that i learned at a very later stage on youtube but is super important even if you're starting out so like i said i'm pretty satisfied with the audio output that my canon g7 gives i don't have a very fancy or a proper microphone although i do have a caller mic which unfortunately i don't have with me right now i will put the link in the description box below but i've hardly used it because while traveling it's really difficult to kind of connect that mic and to you know sync the audio and video together and record them separately now one mic that i do have is this uh, blue snowball microphone you can easily keep it anywhere like you can see and you just need to attach this to your laptop and start recording so uh, this one is great for podcasts and voice overs and i use it quite often for voice overs the only drawback though is that you have to move really close to the microphone for the audio to be really crisp and clear um and another thing is because like i said my canon g7 doesn't have an external uh, microphone port so there's a hack that i figured out and this is basically a wind muff so um i so when the situation is very windy outside because that happens a lot while traveling you can put this you can stick this using a double tape around your microphone and this won't completely eliminate the wind sound but it does make it um, not just bearable but it does make the audio better relatively and now the final question of which camera is it that you should be investing in if you're starting right now so honestly i can't name any one or even two cameras to you it will completely depend on your budget on your requirements but there are a few suggestions that um, i would like you to keep in mind irrespective of your need and those are first if you're just starting out and if you take a camera which is very fancy and a lot of features so it might get a little overwhelming and intimidating in the beginning and you might get or just to give up because in the beginning it does get a little difficult to handle uh, talking about handling if you're someone who is recording on the go or if you want to make vlogs maybe travel vlogs then you should definitely look for something that is handy uh the third is that the camera it's very very important actually that the camera should have good continuous auto focus because you don't want that you've set up uh, the tripod the camera everything and when you're moving the focus just move somewhere else it will just lead to duplication of your efforts the fourth and another very important point is that i understand in the beginning you want to invest in something that is budget friendly but uh, do make sure that along with budget friendly it's also future proof because you don't want that just in a year or two the sensor wears off and now you have to invest in another camera so that actually will prove to be a more costly affair to you So that is it from my experience of using all these equipments till now. Uh, I hope you found it helpful. And if you're new here, do consider subscribing because a lot of videos that might prove to be useful for a beginner YouTuber are uh, on the way. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.